When it comes to website SEO, page load speed is the one of the essential parts to increase your search engine visibility. Many beginners focus on other aspects like link building, on-page SEO and so on, but they don't know if they have so many images on single page, the web page can take longer time to load and it will increase their bounce rate. This can affect their search engine visibility. So instead of slow page load speed, you can increase your website page load speed by compressing the images while keeping the image quality in HD. Alright, so we are going to increase our web page load speed by installing a special plugin. So in the back end of your website, let's hover your mouse over plugins and then click on add new and come over here and search for compress X. And this is the plugin that we're going to install. This is by WP Vivid team. I've tried their other plugins and all work very well. So let's go ahead and install this plugin by clicking on install now button and then activate the plugin by clicking on activate button. All right, so plugin has been activated. So before I show you the settings of this plugin, let's look at my website. This is the demo site. As you can see, it has so many images. Now let's increase our web page load speed. So let's go ahead, click on settings or you can go directly here. So this is the settings of this plugin. First thing first, you have to enable this. And here you can see we have a bunch of other settings that we look at one by one. First, you can see we have the extension, GD extension, and we have the imaging, whatever you call it. So select first one. Next, we have the two types of output format, WebP and AVIF. Make sure to select both of them. AVIF has more compression level while keeping your image quality in HD. Next, we have the compression level. If you hover your mouse over here, you can read the information about the compression level. Lossless is the 100% of compression level. In the opposite, lossy is the 60% of the compression level. So let's keep it in the middle. Now scroll down, we have the channel settings. Here you can see browser compatibility. Use the rewrite rule, which is recommended. And of course, you can read the information about the settings right over here. So I select the first one. Do not convert PNG images. It will convert PNG images to WebP format. So I don't recommend that. Next, we have the EXIF data. You can also read the information about this function right here. It refers that if there is an image that contains the information about a date or place or something like that, it will remove the image metadata by checking this box. So make sure select that. Next, we have the parameter of processing images. How many images you want to process? You can increase or decrease the number from here. I select 10. It depends on the server you are using. You can also read the information about this right over here. Next, we have the automatic removal of files in output format larger than the original size. And you can check this one as well, auto resize larger images. It will resize the larger images into this size, okay? Next, we have the remove header, always set cache control private from the HD access file. So keep it unchecked. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes. Next, we have the thumbnail sizes. You can see it will automatically process the thumbnail if they have these resolutions. Some themes may generate new thumbnail sizes sometimes. So that's why you need to check all of them. If you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes. Next, we have the exclude folder. You can exclude any folder that you don't want to process by clicking on this plus button. Okay, you can also remove them. Next, we have the custom folder. You can go each folder and select any folder that you want to process. Okay, so I'm not going to do it. Next, we have the bulk process. You can either click over here or you can go to the top and then click on bulk process. And finally, we have this text box where you can type the delete button. It will delete all the process images while keeping your original images saved. So let's go ahead and click on start bulk process. It will take few minutes to process this. So I'm going to speed the video up and I'll come back once it's done. A few moments later. All right, guys. So as you can see, process has been completed. And as you can see, CompressX.io has successfully processed 10.40 megabyte of images and it's completely free and you can read this plugin five star by clicking over here and I already did it so I'm not gonna do it again now all you have to do just visit your page and see the magic so now you can see this web page load speed has increased 
If you think that these images are still in their original format, well, if you visit their site and scroll down, you can see they clearly says that by using the rewrite rule to load WebP and AVI images on different browser. So basically it says that these images will be appear in their format on supported browser. And here you can see the comparison of JPEG and WebP. You can see this is a JPEG and this is the WebP. There's no difference. And you can see the compression level over here. And this is the original size of the JPEG and this is the size of WebP. Amazing, right? So go ahead, try out this plugin and skyrocket your website page load speed. So that's it. This is how you increase your website page load speed. If you found the video valuable, don't forget to hit the like button. For more WordPress tutorial, check out the video description. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe it. It would be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.